Today we're going to be talking about how do you know when your song is finished. Welcome, my name is Steve Cullen from the Secrets to Music Success.com. And today we're going to be talking about the three things to ask yourself. Um, you know, when you're trying to finish that song and you're not quite sure if it's finished, these are the kind of questions that you need to ask yourself. So, so let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, number one, did you fix it? So that kind of sounds a little bit funny, you know, when you're writing a song, did you fix it? You, you haven't even got started. But the thing is, um, you've got to learn to trust your heart. You've got to learn to trust your ears. And, and uh, those first things that jump out, work on them. You know, keep working on those parts and you want to change those parts. You know, for me, when I'm doing a mix or when I'm writing a song or uh, anything that I'm doing creative, um, like this, I'm I'm trying to think to myself, oh, what's wrong with it? Let me fix it, or what don't I like? Not maybe not what's wrong with it, because sometimes that can be kind of a negative kind of a, a vibe. You know, what is wrong with it? Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just choices. But what don't I like? What do I want to change? You know, and you constantly you're tweaking a mix. You're constantly uh, you know doing a vocal, and you're going over it, and you're listening to it. Um, you know, like when I'm when I'm comping vocals or tuning vocals, that's a classic example. I listen to it and the things that jump out, I fix them. You know, the things that jump out, I keep fixing it. And then I go over and have a listen again and you and you go back and you fix little things. And so it's all about like fixing things to your ears, making things sound right to your ears. And that's what that's why it's such a that's why it's such an awesome world where we're super creative and we're creating these colors, you know. So when you want to know if your song finished, have you fixed the parts? When you listen back to it, is there parts where you're like, oh, I got, I'm gonna change that? We'll go ahead and change that, you know. So just the other day, you know, I was writing a top line for a friend of mine, um, and we're doing a collaboration. And uh, you know, the first pass, you know, the first pass, I went over and um, just kind of did some non-lyrical kind of. Uh, you know, gibberish, like, blah, 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 you know, whatever, as I'm kind of like singing melodies. And, uh, you know, I'd kind of write that part and I'd, I'd stick with some of those melodies and I'd be like, okay, I like those melodies. And then uh, the second time through, uh, you know, I would actually just send it like that and be like, hey, here you got your top line, or I would let it rest. I would take a break, and then I would come back to it. And, uh, and, and actually, with this case, I came back to it the next day and I'm like, okay, the chorus, you know, I like where the chorus is going. The verses and the pre-chorus, they need to be, they need to be tweaked, but I like where the chorus is going. And so I started to write, you know, I started to, what am I going to write this song about, you know, cause those non-lyrical, uh, gibberish, you know, there weren't even words, maybe a couple of words there, but there's nothing that, that was really, I was going anywhere with it. So I just wanted to get those melody lines. And uh, so then I wrote the chorus and, and you know, I, um, uh, you know, I found the chorus I liked and I tweaked some of the words and tweaked the lyrics and everything. I knew, keeping in mind, though, the whole time as I was writing the uh, chorus there, I was like, it doesn't matter. I'm These are all just placeholders. You know, I can come back and I can change them. I can come back and fi tweak them and fix them and and then we'll then we'll be done so then the second pass I, that was the second pass and then the third pass i went i went through the next day and uh or it might have been that afternoon and just um just kept tweaking it and i was like okay write the verses write the pre-chorus write the second verse and i'm good and i recorded the vocals the next day so so that's kind of like my kind of process when i'm when i'm going through a, a you know a song so always ask yourself did you fix it is it done to your to your ears is there anything else that you would like to change and that's a really, really good sign. So number two is, um, uh, what is the deadline? <laughs> this one is, it's all, this one is the, pretty much the, uh, the decider whether you're done or not. You know, if you've got a deadline, um, by, you know, let's just say you start the song on Thursday and the deadline is Friday at 5 PM. Well, you you got to be done, you know, and if you're smart, then you'll be done by lunchtime and you give your ears some breaks and you'll, you'll, you've got another few, uh, you know, five hours to just tweak any last minute things that just a, a deal breakers for you. But um, that's your, that would be your whole goal. That's your deadline. And so that tells you uh, you're done. You're finished. And there are so many songs and there's so many um, I've heard. I've heard so many stories of people like, uh, you know, um, a great mixing engineer that, that I look up to. Um, you know, I he he used to do session after session. And I remember him uh, someone asking him, well, when do you know when the mix is done? And uh, he, he said it had to be done because it, the next band was coming in in uh, 20 minutes. It had to be done. That other song had to be done. So there's no 
it just was. And so, and he worked like that for years and years and he's got Grammys and, and, uh, but, um, so that's, that's another great key. You know, you've just got to, when that deadline comes in, you're done. <laughs> you're going to be done. Uh, you might already know this, but, um, when you go to Nashville and a lot of the writers in Nashville, they will do like four, uh, they'll, they'll do four songs a day. So they'll do like, you know, uh, two in the morning. So we do two different, um, co-writes. They have them set up. So it'd be like, uh, you know, um, you know, from whatever time they start. So, you know, they do two in the morning, uh, you know, two or three hour sessions and they would have a song demo finished. So they would write the verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus, uh, you know, bridges, whatever they needed, they would get it done. Uh, and then the next session was coming in and they would be, uh, doing it all over again with a new collaborator. And then they would have lunch and then do another two in the afternoon. And that's a very standard kind of thing for just cranking them out. You know, you do four a day and you just keep writing these songs. You keep doing it, you keep doing it. And because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to remember that there's no perfect. You're you're not looking for that one perfect song. You're looking at great, great, great songs and just keep keep writing, keep writing, keep writing and keeping the flow happening. You hear stories so much of the time that people are like, I didn't even know that was going to be a Grammy or I didn't even know that was going to be my number one hit. You know, it just is. And so it's very, it's, it's a lot easier. You can't always control uh, you know, making sure you get that hit or that Grammy, but you can control, keep writing. So, so that's one of the things, you know, you've got to keep asking yourself, you know, um, what's the deadline and you've got to get it to that. So number three is, um, I, this is one of the ones that I, I use for myself a lot. You know, it's, uh, I'll say, is it longer than a month? So that's the question you need to ask yourself. Is it longer than a month? Did I write the song and has it been sitting on my shelf and I've been tweaking it for longer than a month? Because what ends up happening is you change. You change your opinions. You change your mind. You change your sounds. You learn new things. And, and after a month has passed, you're ready to go back to the beginning and change everything. And so you've got to make sure that, um, you know, the, the span of the song when you first write it is only like a month. If you think about photographs, um, uh, you know, if you took a photo uh, a year ago or two years ago or even five years ago and you're whatever you're wearing, then when you look back at that photo, like today, you look back and you're like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe I wore that or I, I can't believe I look like that. And that's that's the, that's the funny thing. You take a snapshot of your life then and then that's that's what it is. You don't get to edit it. And so what happens with your songs, you need to treat them like a snapshot of that era. Whatever you're going through, whatever emotions, whatever you're writing, you do your absolute best and you get it done within that month. And mine's actually quicker. I try and get them done within a week. So I'll work on them till they're done. So I, I try and get them done. But So if, it, if, if I got a song that's longer than a a week or a, a, to a month, that's the end of the year. That's that's a whole year for me. But uh, I think that's a really good goal to just have, um, you know, is it longer than a month? You know, take your time, but soon as you, you've got to finish that song. You've got to get it done. Uh, you know, you've got, because you're going to keep changing things. You're going to keep learning things. You, you, it's never ending. So, um, so number one, so let's just recap. Number one, did you fix it? So you always got to ask yourself, did I fix it? Is it am, I, am I happy with it? That's how you know you're done. Number two, what is the deadline? If the deadline is yesterday or Friday or whatever it is. It's done. You've got to be done or else you're not going to get the deadline. And then 100% guaranteed you're not going to get the spot. <laughs> you're not going to get the cut. So number three is, is it longer than a month? So, um, you know, if you've taken it too long. So those are just uh, three tips that, um, or three keys or um, to ask yourself, is my song done? So awesome. I know it's been helpful for you guys. So just hit the like button if you can down below. And uh, what that actually helps is um, algor the algorithms with YouTube, they pick that up and be like, oh, this video was liked. And so um, click the like button. And uh, also if you want to get my free um uh, songwriting, pop songwriting tips and mixing tips, head over to thesecretstomusicsuccess.com and uh, you can download a free uh, free PDFs there as well. And um, yeah, and uh, check it out and uh, have a little poke around and I'll see you guys next time.